welcome in this video i will explain you how to operate two stepper motor with one mcu here you can see the simulation two stepper motor are connected with one arduino using uh, the motor driver ic contain two edge bridge inside so this ic is tb6612 FNG so you can use any IC like here I have different you can use L298 and TB6612 TB6600 and DRV DRV also have different types inside so these there are many types of motor driver IC you can use any IC because here you can see like if i say l298 and, and tb just the pin naming is different but the function for the both or the other all have the same function so if i go for the code how to write the code for two stepper motor first i will tell you how to write the code for single motor so then you will understand what's the difference <clears throat> okay before going to code let me tell you what's the logic behind the code this is the internal router of stepper motor this north and south pole it shows so how we set the position in the code you will understand if this is the winding a and this is the winding b so if you move the current in this direction as the arrow shows that will be the position of router so to get this position you need to apply a plus high and a minus low b plus high and b minus low so the current direction will flow in as shown in the arrow direction so you will get this router position so if you want to move this router 90 degree more from this position to here before the n was here now is here now the winding a has the same current flow but the winding v b current direction flow is opposite so you need to apply high at b minus and low at b plus so it will rotate 90 degree so if you want to rotate more 90 degree so now this is the b position keep the b winding position same and flip the a winding current minus a should be high and plus a should be low then current will flow in this direction and you will get this position it rotate more 90 and if you rotate more 90 degree then you keep the a same and change the b again because now b current flow direction is from right to left so b plus you need to put high and b minus you need to put low so in four step we complete the one revolution because if your motor has the uh, step degree is 90 then in four step you can complete the revolution uh, one complete circle so in in the uh, simulation we use the stepper motor with the 90 degree step so their code is you can see here i define two motors motor a and uh, motor one and motor two right so <clears throat> first you can see the simple code is how it looks here i just set low high high low and then low high low high here you can set uh, these pins high and low according to this positioning according to this positioning okay so now when you use the single motor what you do you set the one position and here you put the delay delay like you can say 500 millisecond and or you can say 50 millisecond after 50 millisecond it will make the new step and each step it will take 50 millisecond so the delay defines the speed of your motor if delay is more the speed will be low if the delay is less the speed will be high but if you write the delay in your code so two motor cannot operate because when this delay function works then mcu just wait for the time that you write in the delay it cannot perform any other function so to avoid the delay what we did here I add the two timers so in the timer I just set here is the 
step time i define for motor 1 and motor 2 x i say 64 64 this will define the speed of motor so this code i will put in the description you just can copy this code and use this code okay now here i define the times two times initial time i count and here i write current motor time minus previous time because the previous time is the initial time here i say on the top here the initial time and the current time like i set the x is like 100 millisecond after 100 millisecond it will go and change the next step and it will not go in the delay mode because there is a timer and it can also go to the next motor to change so let me this code you just can copy from description and let me create the sketch for this code i can create the sketch like uh, export compiled binary okay go to my simulation double click on the mcu click on the folder okay here is the multi stepper motor code click open and click okay now run the simulation both the motor will run at the same speed because in our code you can see here the value of uh, the x1 and x2 is 64 let me make one motor at half speed now one will be lower and other will be fast compile export binary okay compilation done stop simulation double click select the folder upload new file click ok and run now you can see the lower motor is slow and the upper motor is high speed it's because the system is uh, might be the simulation is going to hang some time that's why you can't see the difference very clearly but if you use the real motor you can judge the difference very clearly let me make it more slow to make it more clear for you 32 let me make like 16 that will be a real difference you will understand export compiled binary go to proteus uh, upload new file okay and now i'm okay now because i make it too slow that's why it's giving you some like vibration here flickering it's not completely moving because i make it very slow so that was about the code and how to make the connection in code you can see i define the pin 2 3 4 and 5 here 10 11 12 and 13 and how i connect if you copy the same code you need to connect like this pin number 2 i connect here 3 4 5 and 10 11 12 and 13 for motor 2 here i use the tb you can use any h bridge drive for other motors so if this code doesn't work exactly for your motors you just need to adjust these values because it's depend upon the step delay of your motor your motor need how much the step delay so you need to adjust accordingly so that was all about how to operate multi motor with the one mcu thanks for watching